the bro this is marzine i'm back here with another video another reddit story y'all this is gonna be a little bit of a cheating story right it, it, it kind of is i don't know if she cheated yet but it's about a plan to cheat right so you don't know what to do yet but before we end up doing this let's leave a like comment subscribe watch all the way to the end of this video share this video get this video posted get this video to other places not posting get this video to other Scared shit on me. I know I pushed it, but I didn't think it was gonna make that noise. But get this video out, pushed out to other people. You know, leave a like, comment, do everything y'all gotta do. Subscribe though, cause right, we're on the road to a thousand point one k. Y'all don't know what that is. A thousand one hundred. Just need a hundred more subscribers now, cause I made it to one k. Y'all saw let us help, but now I'm trying to get to a thousand one hundred. So let's end up getting there. But before we end up jumping into this, I mean, hold up, we are going to jump into this. Is what I meant. My bad. Today, my 24-year-old female girlfriend is planning on cheating on me, 23-year-old male. What are the best options to catch her and prevent gaslighting? Just leave, right? Like, I, hold on, what? You wanna, why do we, why do we have to catch her? I, I don't know, I'm confused. Cause if you can see it, I, I honestly, I'll be like, peace. Like, I know you're about to, I know you're about to cheat. This is bitch, go fuck with him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what do you mean you gotta catch or, or prevent gas? Like, what? Wait, let's jump right into it. I, 23 year old man, have been dating my girlfriend, 24 year old female, for over a year. I've been the boyfriend that treated her the best, changed her lifestyle to be healthier, has her parents' approval, etc. She used to get abused and lied to in previous relationships. Okay, so you're being a you're being a good boyfriend from your perspective. Uh, wait, hold on, not like that. I'm not saying that you're a capper, but you know, you're you're being a good boyfriend. <laughs> We're now away on a business trip, not really business, but it's for my job and we were staying at a hotel, which happens to be a state her ex-boyfriend from three relationships ago lives at. As said, this is a work trip and I will need to leave the hotel for a few hours and she has the entire place for herself. She has the option of accompanying me to my job out here, but has opted to stay at the hotel. Well, first of all, why did you invite her? I mean, wait, no. <laughs> but like, I don't know, like if I'm going on a work trip, I mean, I guess I can see why you want to invite your girlfriend because it is kind of like a, like a mini vacation, but I don't know. If it's like a workshop, we'll be down there for only a couple days. I'm, I might just go by myself, right? Uh, or But then that probably would look bad. But either way, she's a cheater, right? Because if she's going to plan on cheating with this ex-boyfriend, that probably means if you left her alone back then in the past, she was cheating the other people at your home state. You get what I'm saying? Um, skipping forward, she's texting her ex who, is, who she changed the contact name on her phone for, and they've already planned on meeting in the evening today. They will be meeting at the hotel that we're staying at. I'm not sure what my options are. My original plan is to let them meet and catch them in the hotel together. But when that happens, what next? Do I beat up the ex-boyfriend? Do I yell at her for cheating? Do I just act casual and say I came back to pick something up? The issue is we're still here for four more days after. And her parents are expecting me to take care of her on this trip. So I can't just kick her out. I'd have to hear some BS sob stories for the next four days. And her trying to find a way to make it seem like she wasn't cheating. Another issue is, what if the ex bails and they don't meet up? She still has the intent to meet up with him. Do I just act like nothing was going to happen? She deletes the messages from her phone so I'd have no living proof that it was going to happen. And then on top of it, she'll know I went through her phone, which I normally don't do. But I just had the gut feeling that she'd do exactly this as I knew from the previous story she told me about this this ex and that he lives in the exact state we're at. She claimed to have blocked this ex a long time ago and about six months into the relationship, she accidentally unblocked him, which is how I caught him trying to call her. She blocked him after we discussed it and I thought that was over. I mean, that was over. Now it's about seven months later since then and she's talking to him as, has him as a girl's name on her phone and on DND, so the messages don't pop up. Lastly, about a month ago, a waved at call, I, what I would do, <laughs> hold on, what I would do, is i would take it off and do not disturb right because I, <laughs> just to see his message pop up and be like girl you know what i'm saying like like but no first of all just leave like who cares about all this other bs i don't know what you're saying brother what are you saying like just leave what lastly about a month ago i waved at high school friend female who used to be on my track and field team i I didn't try to engage in conversation, just a simple hi as my girlfriend was right next to me and we were talking in the opposite directions. She won a whole argument that it's disrespectful to even know other girls, to even say hi, to even look in the direction of another girl. Oh, this girl is tripping. Which brings me to how I saw the signs before. Because now she's not ta she's not only talking to a guy she's planning on meeting up with him in a different state. One more thing, she thinks the hotel only had one key card, but I had the second one. Only problem is that if I were to even catch them in the act, she always used the extra lock from someone breaking in. How would I go in about this if they're both inside the room and she won't open the door? Because obviously she'll get caught cheating. All right, brother, you're getting a little bit into too much detail here. Um, 
I understand because you're on a work trip so you simply can't leave and you're basically saying that she's gonna cap and then she's not really gonna go home even if you get her a ticket to go home so if I were you if I were you let's say if I was in your position I would tell her what I saw um break up with her and tell her to go with that ex-boyfriend I'll be like, go with him. Tell him to get you a ticket, right? My thing is, you're clearly trying to stay with her. You're not even trying to break up with her based on what you're saying. Because you're talking about like, oh, I don't want her parents because her parents told me to take care of her and I don't want and those sob stories. Nigga, if you break up with her, those sob stories aren't even going to reach you, right? You should block her family, block her, kick her out the damn apartment, tell her to go see him but you clearly don't want to break up with her because that don't even make sense number two you're talking about catching her in the act catching her in the act for what you already saw enough so if you catch her in the act you're gonna like you said beat up her boyfriend and yell at her for cheating no nigga you're gonna leave her what do you mean you're gonna beat up you, you don't know whether to beat up her boyfriend or yell at her there's no yelling there's no talking right what are you gonna yell at to stop her from cheating to to get her off off the bed to be like you cannot meet this man and then date her still you already messed up in that first that first red flag where she had him unblocked. She was already cheating since then. And you're you continue to allow her to cheat till now. That is crazy. And you're gonna let her do this, catch her, and then stay with her because you don't want the bro. Who cares what the parents say? Kick her out that damn apartment, tell her to go to his apartment, leave her in that state. Her parents can come get her. Or that other nigga can figure out how she's getting out. The fact that you are still making this your responsibility is crazy. And even if you wanted to be nice, you can still break up with her and tell her, I'll get you a plane ticket. If you want to be nice, get her that plane ticket. If she don't want to leave until the trip's over, then she's not coming back to the hotel room, right? If you're going to go cheat, cheat in his room, go to his house. Why are you bringing him to my hotel room? This is where I'm sleep. And we ain't even sleeping in the same bed. If you're going to stay here, sleep over there. You know what I'm saying? Get her another hotel room. Like, if you want to be nice, and, and but I, I would have kicked her out and been like, go with him. He can get you a flight. I, it's crazy that you you simply, you don't want to leave her. That's just straight up what that is. Someone put, you don't need a reason to break up. She intended to meet her ex and went to lengths to hide it from you. This doesn't have to be a huge ordeal when, when you all get kicked out of the hotel room. Tell her you know what she's planning and you are done. No discussion needed. That's what I'm saying. I'm, gonna put, I'm pretty sure she has already cheated on him with the other guys. That's what I'm saying. Someone put, he should have taken a photo of her messages. Not really. There's no point. No point. OP responded saying, I'll give you a much more update, a detailed update later. Oh, so we got a little bit of an update that he put in the comments. Okay. But basically the ex bailed on her as expected. So I confronted her about the actual text messages. Since a lot of people were saying leave immediately, she basically told me she had this plan that her and her best friend were talking about to get back at him for being a horrible person he was. And her plan was to make him drive all the way to the hotel, make him wait outside because he did that to her one time. Basically, I broke up with her, but she was fighting too much, so much to say she wasn't cheating and wouldn't let me sleep just saying so much lies from 12 a.m. to 4 a.m. Just her saying a one-sided story. I was too tired and had and had work early the next day, so I didn't pack and leave. She wants us to work things out, but once we go back home, I'm leaving. Um, yeah, she's number one, she's capping. Number two, even so, if she's planning on getting revenge for how bad he treated her, then she shouldn't have been into another relationship if she feels that much pain towards another person. Literally, someone even said it. If you, like someone said, if you have a girl that is mad at you or feels some type of way about you, it's better than a girl that doesn't feel no type of way about you. So she clearly hasn't moved on if she still feels some type of way about this man right if she still feels some anger some sadness towards this man she has not moved on there's a difference where you can feel like a pain from an event right let's say this dude beat her up and he she feels that pain from that event but to feel that pain from a, that particular person then you weren't ready to move on yet because you need to heal that part of you and that's the problem a lot of people have not healed so ultimately even if that is her story she still deserves to be break, broken up with. But I disagree. She was 100% going to cheat regardless if he bailed or not. And this false, this story sounds dumb. She didn't have to do that and or change the name on her phone. She could have even, even if that was the case, she could have told you about it. She could have been like, listen, I'm trying to get revenge on my boyfriend. And if you were, okay, ex-boyfriend, if you were okay with that, that's different. The fact that she hid it from you is still an issue. So her story still doesn't make sense. 
Um, so I'm gonna put, don't break up with her for cheating. Break up with her for lying and being sneaky and manipulative, exactly. She can't actually deny those things. Um, so I'm gonna put, even if the story is true, I question whether it is, she still, has in, she still was in communication with him under a fake name, hiding it from you. She's either a lying cheater or too immature to be in an adult relationship. I'm glad you are not listening to her excuses and hope she doesn't draw you back in. I feel like he's gonna get drawn back in. Like I said, he's not. The, I don't think he's the type to leave her. The way that he's typing and the way that he's acting, he's not gonna leave her. Um, it says, what is the update? What went down? Did you catch her? So I guess he didn't end up updating it past that update, which probably means he stayed with her. It says, the fact that she never updated this post irritates me greatly. Someone put, dude, why are you with this chick? You don't trust her one one I mean, at all. Without trust, you have no relationship. There is no way to live. Just break up with her and have some self-respect. Um, yeah, and he basically never updated after that. So I guarantee y'all, he stayed with her. And he's probably too embarrassed to be like, I stayed. I doubt he even broke up with her in that hotel room. I feel like he just capped. He wanted to give someone like a little nice story. Rather, no, no, you're tripping. Like, I would have left. Alright, so I'm gonna end this video right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys end up leaving a like, comment, subscribe. Do